Earthrunner sandals aren't my first experience with minimalistic footwear, but they are my first experience with minimalistic sandals. If you're researching minimalist sandals like I was, you'll probably find tons of articles, tons of videos talking about different brands and Earthrunner is definitely up there with one of the most popular that's being talked about. I went with Earthrunner based off of, first of all, their popularity, and second of all, their very professional website. But what about the product? Well, I think they nailed that, and if you stick around in this review, I'm gonna go over why I think that Earthrunners are well worth the price, and maybe help you decide if a minimalistic pair of sandals is right for you. But first, Before I get into the review, I need to go over the different styles that Earthrunner offers, as well as go over what makes a minimalistic sandal different than, say, a traditional sandal like a flip-flop or a slide-on. Earthrunners come in three separate styles, all with different cushioning and thickness. First, you have the Elemental, which are the thinnest and closest to being barefoot that you can get. They're offered in an 8mm Vibram outsole. Next is the Circadian. They are right in the middle, offering some cushioning without sacrificing that ground feel of the sandal. They come with a 7.5 millimeter Vibram outsole, as well as a 1.5 millimeter cushioned footbed. Last, we have the Alpha. This is the most cushioned and thickest version aimed toward individuals getting into barefoot running or those that plan to trek on rocky terrain. They come with a 9 millimeter Vibram outsole, as well as a 2 millimeter cushioned footbed. Though technically correct, the term cushioning seems like a bit of an exaggeration, but for earth runners, when we talk about cushioning, we're actually referring to a bit of extra support and that top layer is actually pretty firm. This isn't a negative by any means, but I need to point that out for prospective buyers that may be looking at 1.5 millimeter, two millimeters of cushioning and thinking they're gonna get sort of a traditional sandal uh, absorption, which you're not gonna get with these. Additionally, there are two separate lace styles to choose from. The first being the lifestyle laces, which are the more comfortable all day laces, and second, the performance laces, which are much more secure, but they trade a bit of comfort for that security. Right here, I have the circadian sandals with the performance laces, so this is what my review is gonna be based off of, but I'm gonna make some speculations based off of the other models with the other cushioning and the other laces. The lacing pattern of minimalistic adventure sandals allows a more secure attachment of the sandal to the wearer's foot which not only allows the wearer to run, but also permits a more natural walking stride and foot strike pattern. After wearing sandals like Earthrunners, I can't wear any other sandals anymore such as foot flops due to how unnatural and uncomfortable they feel while slapping them cheeks. I mean feet. Sizing for the Earthrunners is vital, but made much easier by the printable foot outline charts you can find on Earthrunners website. There are also many visual examples on their website displaying the correct and incorrect sizing of Earthrunners, so you really wanna make sure that you choose the right pair that will fit your foot. Earthrunners don't fit like normal sandals, instead having a much tighter tolerance on the material that are in front of your toes and on your heel. You definitely do not want to go for sizes too big because they're going to feel unnatural and clunky. Earthrunners are like an extension of your sole, so wearing a size that's too big is definitely not advised. I'll admit it was difficult getting used to the Earthrunners when I first got them because I was so used to a traditional sandal which had much more material both in front of the toes and behind that heel and I was really worried that I'd order a size too small but after a few weeks of walking with them, running with them, checking online to make sure I had the right size, uh, I knew that I had the absolute perfect size and they fit my feet excellently. This brings me to the feel of the Earth Runners. How do they feel when you slap these on for the first time? Uh, not great. <laughs> I bet you were expecting me to say that it was a liberating experience. They felt amazing. I, I reached a state of inner peace because I was so at one with the Earth and so at one with nature. Don't worry, that inner peace comes later, more specifically after a few days of breaking in the laces and sizing them so that they're perfect for your foot. So let's start with these laces. So the website states that you need to break in the laces, especially the performance laces, because they're a bit tougher and stronger. And I would 100% agree with that. It took a few days to break them in. And in that time, the tops of my feet and the sides uh, were left a bit irritated. But after those first few days, those first few weeks of really wearing them around, walking in them, adjusting the laces, they got broken in and they felt absolutely amazing. 
I'm gonna go ahead and assume the lifestyle laces would be much more comfortable right out of the box and a bit easier to break in, but uh, again, that's speculation. I only have these performance laces to work with. I have to say I never experienced any blisters or any serious chafing from these laces, uh, although I did go for short walks on the first week or two, and I was always kind of near my home, so when I started feeling that irritation, I'd come home, take them off, and then uh, try again in a couple hours or the next day, wait for that irritation to go away. Next, we're gonna talk about the footbed material on these circadians, that 1.5 millimeter cushioned footbed. <laughs> uh, unlike the laces, footbed out of the box felt amazing. It's actually made of a moisture wicking canvas material. So while it's not very soft, it, uh, it's also not too abrasive either. It feels like you're walking on a kind of like a, a, a thin carpet, uh, very enjoyable. The material is also comfortable no matter if it's dry or wet. I've worn these to parks, I've walked through streams, I've jumped on rocks, I've run on dirt paths, all in a matter of a couple minutes. And material, uh, super comfortable, even when it's a bit wet, it doesn't cause your foot to slide at all, uh, it dries really quick. So that material, that canvas-like material, excellent. As I mentioned, this material, while it's not the most soft, silky material, it's also not too abrasive, so I never experienced any blisters. I will say though that when I'm at home, I do a lot of barefoot walking, both doing yard work and playing outside with my kids, and my feet do have a bit of calcing on the bottom. Uh, if you're someone that's feet are silky smooth like a baby's bottom, uh, what? <laughs> if you're someone whose feet are silky smooth, you may want to just keep an eye on how your feet are feeling. $70 to $100 for a pair of sandals is quite high, but with Earthrunners, you can see exactly where the money went. There are many cheaper sandals for half the price, but if you do any amount of research, you can see that these sandals fall apart weeks, even days after wearing them. Earthrunners, I've worn these for six months, non-stop, after work on the weekends, and they are a solid sandal. They're built really well. For a minimalistic sandal, there's really not much to it, so it's important these companies get the major aspects of the sandal correct. So let's jump into the major areas of the Earth Runner and see how that build quality is. First, we're gonna go into how the laces attach to the actual sandal. The front has a piece of metal that the straps adhere to and is anchored through the sandal. It would take a lot of force to destroy this anchor point, as you can see from these pictures. The next area of attachment are on the back of the sandal. This allows for sizing and manipulation of the laces, and there is a cutout that the straps feed through. There's enough raw material here that, kind of like the front, it's gonna take a great amount of force to destroy the sandal. Moving on with the straps, there is this plastic piece that is used for adjustment and securing. I would say this is possibly the weakest link in the design due to it being plastic, but it seems well made and I can't think of any scenarios where you'd crack this piece without severely injuring yourself in the process. As mentioned, the sole thickness will differ from model to model for the Earth Runner, but they all appear to have the same tread pattern on the bottom. In the six months that I've worn mine on both concrete and dirt, there's actually very little wear. I don't do much running in them, mostly walking, so of course if you're planning on putting some miles on them, uh, you're probably gonna experience much more wear. For moderate use, meaning after work and on the weekends, they're holding up very nicely, and I expect the soles to last well over a year, probably way longer than that. As mentioned, the footbed is a moisture wicking canvas. If you look closely, I'll try to get a picture of that if you can't see it. It looked like there was some fraying at the top, uh, this fraying, it looks like it's just how the shoe was cut. It's how the material is supposed to be. This is how it's looked from day one and it's how it's looked now. Uh, I was worried. Uh, oh, is it going to start fraying, peeling up, unraveling? Uh, none of that. This is how it's looked, like I said, for six months. Uh, it's how it's supposed to look. As for the footbed, it is stained a little bit and there are indentations where my toes lie, but uh, that's just, that's part of <laughs> a minimalistic sandal. That's what you get. It's a nice little personalization for your foot. There is some slight warping to the natural arch of my foot. This is by no means a negative, but I just wanna point it out so that you, the consumer, can see the build quality of the shoe and how the shoe's constructed, uh, the pliability of it. Uh, these circadians, they're not too pliable to where you don't wanna scrunch them up and roll them up. You don't wanna, they don't twist around too easily, but they do allow a bit of flexibility. This comes in handy when you're stepping on rocks, when you're adjusting your foot. Like I said, these are an extension of your foot sole, so you're gonna want a little bit of pliability as your foot twists and turns over the environment. 
hopefully not twists and turns too much because that's uh, that's a broken ankle. <laughs> I run many miles a week. I'm always barefoot while I'm at home, outside in the backyard, wherever. But I have to say, after a day of wearing Earth Runners, my feet are tired. <laughs> they tired not in a way to where they're painful, almost like uh, your legs after a good long run. Just it feels like I got a really good workout. Uh, this definitely isn't a negative. This points out how undertrained that our our feet are in general. We're not used to walking barefoot. We're used to wearing cushioned, uh, supportive shoes. So walking barefoot, not having that arch support, not having that extra cushion on our feet, it really points out that we need to have stronger feet. And with these, I can wear them all day. And it almost feels like I'm getting a little foot workout. Also for wearing earth runners, I've noticed way less ankle and foot fatigue during my ultra marathons. So seeing that benefit carry over is a huge, huge positive for me. I'm not going to comment on some of the health benefits that Earthrunner claims to have. If you want more information on earthing and some of the other health benefits that Earthrunner claims to give you, you can go to their website. They got tons of resources. Uh, they even have scientific sources cited backing up some of their information. This really isn't my area of expertise, which is why I'm not commenting on it. I'm not going to say if I believe in it or not. I kind of, uh, you know, go to the beat of my own drum. And from what I've noticed from Earthrunners, I do have health benefits. Maybe not from earthing or from some of the other sciences they claim to have, but just being almost barefoot, I was gonna say barefoot out in the wild, almost barefoot out in the wild, you really do feel more connected to the earth. You feel more connected to nature around you. Uh, so if anything, it's a very good mental benefit you're getting. So I do think there are positive health benefits from wearing a minimalistic sandal and minimalistic footwear. Uh, but that's really up to you to do some research and find out if it's right for you. Now, of course, I'm going to address the big elephant in the room of this review. As I mentioned at the beginning, I don't have any other shoe to reference this off of, aside from uh, traditional shoes with cushion and laces. So I really can't compare these to some of the other major brands out there. So this is kind of a standalone review as someone that's coming in, no experience with minimalistic sandals, minor experience with minimalistic footwear and barefoot running in general. So uh, coming in from a, a blind perspective from the outside, uh, I'm definitely very happy that I went with Earthrunners as my first sandal. As I mentioned, they're one of the most popular, very highly reviewed, so I knew I was getting a good product. Minimalistic sandals at this price point only have two jobs and that's to fit comfortably and securely and to be designed strongly and to hold up. And the Earth Runners get flopped around in my hands. I don't know what I'm talking about. And I'm just late, tired, I got a long run tomorrow. I'm almost done. <laughs> Minimalistic sandals at this price point really only have two jobs. And that's to fit comfortably and securely and to be designed strongly. And I will say that the Earth Runner succeeds in both of those categories. What I can tell you is that for the price tag, what you're getting right out of the box is a strong, sturdy product and you can tell where the money went and where the value is in buying these sandals. If I get into the model of Earthrunner, or more likely when I get a different brand of sandal to try out, I'll make a review video on that brand and have the Earthrunner to compare them to, but as of right now, I am extremely happy that I went with Earthrunner as my first pair of minimalistic sandals. So that's my review. If you made it this far, I'm gonna thank you so, so much for watching. I love seeing my videos get some, some attention and I see that the, the view count's high and that the view time is high. So uh, I do really appreciate you guys sticking in, putting up with me while I do these reviews. Probably more for the product. You're just putting up with me. You wanna hear what I say about the product. I, I know that's what it is. So uh, I appreciate it. And as always, I can't wait to see you do something amazing.